Putin's spokesman declined to comment on any assurances about military deployments and said that Russian troops were already due to leave Belarus on February 20 once their exercises have been completed. A French government official said Macron's remark that Putin assured him of no further escalation was in reference to not massing any further troops near the Ukraine border. The official added it was a conditional commitment and the situation, and its perception by Putin, could change. Still some distance between their positions. Russian President Vladimir Putin and French President Emmanuel Macron meet at the Kremlin. Credit. Kremlin via AP The French president said he received assurances from Putin that Russia wouldn't escalate further around Ukraine. The Kremlin wouldn't confirm that, instead blaming the West for fueling tensions. I obtained that there will be no worsening and escalation, Macron told reporters on the plane from Moscow to Kiev after nearly six hours of talks in the Kremlin on Monday evening. He didn't elaborate on what assurances he'd received and there was no mention of any specific steps in his joint briefing Monday night with Putin. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov declined to comment on the French assertions, but blamed the US and its European allies for ignoring Russia's security concerns and adding to tensions with weapons deliveries to Kiev. Looking for a breakthrough, French President Emmanuel Macron. Credit. AP he said Russian troops will return to their bases after maneuvers in Belarus later this month. Putin noted that in Macron's ideas, there are rational elements on the basis of which work can continue, Peskov said. But it will in large part depend on what the tone of his discussions in Kiev are today and later with his colleagues in the European Union and NATO. Rape lyric it emerged that the Russian leader, in criticizing Ukraine's president, referenced an obscene song lyric from a Soviet-era punk band during Putin and Macron's media conference. Whether you like it or don't like it, bear with it, my beauty, Putin said, in demanding Zelensky implement elements of a 2014 ceasefire agreement on eastern Ukraine. Experts said the quote came from a song called Sleeping Beauty in a Coffin by Red Mold. Responding to Macron's report that he gained assurances from Putin that Moscow wouldn't escalate frictions with Ukraine, a Kremlin spokesman said that was not so clear. EU penalties the European Commission, the bloc's executive body, has taken the lead in mulling possible penalties for Russia should it invade Ukraine. It has held back on providing written details to the 27 member nations, which would need to give their unanimous backing to any action, according to diplomats who asked not to be identified talking about the preparations. Those diplomats said officials are shunning paper, as well as a group discussion within the bloc, to avoid leaks and highlighting potential differences between states. EU officials have also said concrete proposals would only be shared if Russia actually took action, since sanctions are not a tool for deterrence. The lack of detail has limited the extent to which member states can prepare for the economic fallout at home from any sanctions, one EU diplomat said. Prices for European natural gas rose following Biden's remarks that the Nord Stream 2 pipeline would be scrapped in the event of a Russian invasion. Loading Europe's energy crisis has been exacerbated by the prospect of reduced flows from Russia amid geopolitical tensions surrounding Ukraine. Macron met with Putin for about six hours Monday night in a bid to inject momentum into discussions on the Kremlin's European security demands and efforts to revive the stalled Ukraine peace process.